Good morning, it's Barb coming to my craft studio. I have another video in my Totally Tiffany organization series. Today we're going to talk about the Shelly buddy bag. Be right back. Shelly was designed for washi tape, but she can also be used for small ribbon rolls, mini ink pads, and baker's twine. I don't have any of this style of baker's twine, so I'll just show you it on the package. It's kind of how it looks. Um, the Shelly bag. I don't think that's Shelly. No, it's not. It's okay. This is Shelly. I should get a photo of this one before I take it apart. <laughs> the Shelly bag measures 11 by two, by two and a half. I'm not sure which direction is which way, but that's her measurements. And the inner tray measures 10 and a half by two. I'm thinking this way is the two and then one and a quarter high. I think the last number is the height. These are those little cork um, stamps. I think I picked them up at Michael's in like a tub. This actually isn't how I had them stored, but I actually think I like this way best. They shift less than the way that I have them currently, so they may end up staying this way. But that's one thing you can use Shelly for. Cricut cartridges is another good use for it. You should always hang on to your cartridges because your cartridge is proof of ownership and they have changed the way you prove that. So simply taking a picture of them and then giving them away is not going to work. They make you incorporate a um, case number into your actual picture, not by digital methods. So you will need those cartridges. And actually, if you sell or give that cartridge away and that person wants to link it, they can get ownership of that cartridge because they can prove they have it. So keep your cartridges. And if you are going to sell them, be honest and tell people that they're linked. There's nothing worse than buying one that the seller swore was linked and then find out that swore swore wasn't linked and then find out that it was. Um, <laughs> but that's the Shelly bag with cartridges. And let's see, I have a note I think I have on here. I have 17 in there. There's a little extra space, but I don't think it was enough to put an 18th one. I think I tried that and it just wouldn't work. So Cricut cartridges is another method. The Momento Versa Magic, or I think they have other ones this style too. I think the, the teardrop style inks. I actually kind of think I like this method of storing my ink drops too. So I think what I will do if I keep mine this way is see if I can fit them like this. That way you can see both colors. So I think that's how I would do it. But I just loaded them in there the easiest way I could. So I'm gonna have to sample my mats. And that one I believe I got 16. I think there's two rows of eight. So that's another use for it. I know I won't leave my cartridges here, so I'm going to pull those out. Some of these cartridges get sticky after a while. And if you were using them constantly, they wouldn't get that way. But of course, Shelly can be used for washi. And this one would be a hard one to tell you how many washi rolls you could fit in there because washi comes in so many widths that it's going to vary greatly depending on the width of your washi. Right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got 13 in there, but there's room for more. But some are really thin and some are thick. <coughs> Sorry about that, bless me. <laughs> that, that's what washi was um, designed for. Tiffany calls herself a washi tape junkie. She chose one of these full Christmas, and I'm like, yeah, I can, I have a 
I think one of the six drawer um, things full of Christmas washi. See why I said 15 now? Because you really can't fit them other, the other way. But you could definitely fit 15 in here. You could probably put another row across the top if you don't mind stacking. Um, I prefer my stuff visible, so um, I think I would slot store them this way so that you can see the colors that you could put 15. Like I said, if you wanted, you could probably fit another seven by stacking across the top. One more thing to show. Try to get some of this stuff put back away. stuck them in a different bag to keep them because I didn't have enough shelly bags. So 27 and what's in there is these little Tic Tac style containers. I keep my brads and grommets in and yeah, I think that's all I use for these four in these things. But that would be a good way to store them. You wouldn't be able to get a clear view of the middle row but if you kind of organize them in there by color you'd know. You know this row's all pink, red, whatever. That's another use for the Shelly bag. Um, let's see. This is washi tape, which I shared. Tiny inks, which I shared. Um, she mentions that it will fit the Queen and Company shaker card filler, which I'm sure must be in little plastic containers. I don't know exactly like that, but you could probably fit other little plastic containers in there too. So that's kind of my look at how to use the Shelly bag. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.